Hello again, it's Bill. We're out here in the soccer field, still. Same day. Uh, I'm gonna bring you along on another dig here. Uh, I got an area here, it's, it's got some high tones and some low tones. Uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna find, but I figure I would uh, fire up the camera and let you in on it and we'll go from there. Uh, it's right in this area here. Uh, let me turn the camera to the area. Well, right in this area here, and I'm not coming up with anything on my toner. Of course, I double check my toner. And I got nothing really going on in this area here. So it's definitely something deeper. I did tone it, set a couple inches deep. I'm gonna use my new tool. Uh, and we're gonna dig a nice round hole, search it, see if we can find something in here. Like I said, low tones, high tones, a little bit of everything. The only reason why I'm digging this spot is because of the high tone. I don't like digging low tones, only because yeah, I guess they don't pay off too much. I like to hunt, but I like to hunt, uh, you know, and, and, and pull something out that's uh, something worthwhile. But you never know. Uh, but I'm out here, uh, and high tones is what I'm looking for today, and we'll go from there. Let me do a quick hole dig here, and uh, see if I can uh, come up with a nice uh, our target, see what happens here. Bear with me. What I'm doing here is digging a nice round hole. Um, again, I'm sure you've seen, seen maybe some of the other videos. Our little tool sinks into the ground. Bringing our material up inside. And we'll give it a little wiggle here. As we pull it out of the ground, creates a nice, perfect golf size hole. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna extract the plug now and we'll see if we can tone it and find out what's going on here and uh, what's happening here so bear with me one second well, my toner's acting up i think the battery's getting low on the toner something as you can see what i've done here is extracted the plug from my unit. There's it. So here's the plug. And it's almost a nice size, perfect size round coffee can size plug, which will fit directly back in the hole if I want to put it in there. So I think it's toner out and we'll start doing some toning. So we can find our item. Check my toner. Now obviously I got something in the hole here, so I'm not going to go to the plug. I can search my plug, but I'm not coming up with anything in the plug. I can go all the way around this plug pretty quick and simple. What I got is in this hole. So who knows what I'm going to find. Toner says there's something down there. Let's find out what's down there. It's still in there. Now, of course, I'm going against what I normally would do. Not dig too many low tones or high tones. I mean, I like the high tones, of course, sorry. But here I'm digging a low tone, high tone, everything tone all in one hole. So maybe we'll pan out and find something that's worthwhile. Maybe we'll pan out and find nothing. But I'm glad you're along for the dig. You see anything? Let me know. Okay, I got enough material out of the ground here. Nothing felt weird or haven't heard any clinks on my shovel thing here. See? I think my battery's going low on my toner. Search this out. See, I'm still finding something in the hole. I don't know. This is what I don't like digging too much about. See, I got something in the very bottom of the hole now. And I'm hoping it's not what I think it is. It looks like it. Like I have explained to you before about digging these, some of the lower tones. I 
and I may be giving up on this one because I have a feeling it's going to be a can or something. Sorry about the, the footage. I'm hearing something down here, but and I thought I saw something kind of shiny, but and it's strange. But anyways, we'll dig a little bit longer. And I think I found it right here on the side wall, which I was kind of overlooking. It's probably an old bottle cap or something. And that's what we found. Isn't that pretty? Pepsi, are they still in business? Yes. Little Pepsi cap. Obviously it's junk. I will put it in my pack and throw it away at the local garbage place. But let me show you how this plug thing works since we did, it's gone, no tones really. Uh, we dug it up, of course, that's why I don't like digging too many low tones, but they had a high tone next to it. And it's possible something's still here, but at this point, I'm gonna fill the hole back in and go back just to showing you how that tool works, which I think is an awesome tool, I love it. Um, again, sorry about the footage. Uh, I like to try to dress the grass up as much as I can, you know, get it so it looks like it's all back to normal again. There's my hole. I may want to pack this down a little bit because I worry about having a place to go find things. So definitely want to make sure. Here's that little plug. Barely you can almost see it here. Blends right in. That's the plug that we extracted out of our little tool. As you can see here, only really nice about this plug being four inches, I can check it this side, roll it around. I'm going all the way around this thing, you see. So, but then again, here's the ideal situation. I tapped the plug back in the hole. Of course, the hole got a little wider, but now, you know, pack it back in there. Really, there's no damage to the lawn. And look, you can barely tell where I was at, which is a nice ideal situation. I mean, if you had somebody that's really picky about their lawn, you can show them what you do, how it works. I don't think they're gonna have any problem with you digging in their lawn. And there's our little tool that we use. Uh, it's an awesome little tool. Uh, and um, if you need one, uh, just give us a shout. We'll go from there. Thank you very much. Again, thanks for joining me on our uh, little dig out here. Um, again, thanks for coming along. Bye now.